a lot of people's eyes glaze over at, at the idea of, of AI because they just don't understand it. Is that part of what you're trying to do, trying to explain the threats to everyday people? I think that everyday people have a pretty good sense of, at least in headline terms, what AI amounts to. Certainly my children uh, and their, their rising generation are more comfortable with IT and technology and they understand concepts in a way that my generation perhaps didn't, certainly not at their age. And so I think what, what's new though is for people to understand the way that particular authoritarian nations are seeking to gain advantage by stealing some of how these technologies are being developed and put that to their benefit rather than our benefit. That is the new bit and that is where uh, my organisation with its four counterparts is seeking to send some new messages to help lots of people be sensitised to these risks in a new way. And it seems clear to me from having spoken to you and to, to the FBI as well that it, it's China, China, China. So China clearly is a massively powerful state and as we've discussed previously, uh, Director Ray and I have previously commented on what we see from the Chinese government. It's not all about China though, I'm deliberately talking in terms of authoritarian states. We do see hostile activity coming from Putin's Kremlin, from the Iranian regime and in, uh, potentially at times others also. But it, it's not all about China, but when it comes to emerging technology, the most important set of risks are coming from the Chinese government, yes.